Hey guys, this is Sora here, and today I'm back with another video. Well, if you are a regular, a regular customer on Flipkart, and if you are regularly visiting their website, you must have known about the term K5 Note, or you have come to know about this term from website or Facebook. So let's get straight to into the matter. Well, Lenovo has launched their Lenovo 5. No, no, five. Lenovo K5 Note. Well, I don't know why if they are still using the Vibe term or not, but it doesn't matter anymore. Well, K5 Note is actually an upgraded version of the K4 Note, uh, as we can understand from the nomenclature. But it's actually not. K5 Note was previously launched in China a few weeks or a few months ago. So they have come India and they have imported those products in India, but they have upgraded a lot of things as they have said in their uh, today's launch uh, event. So I will get straight to you about uh, the specifications as well as which thing has been improved from the K4 Note to the K5 Note. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a K4 Note, but I can tell you that uh, uh, there are two versions of the K4, K5 Note that will be 3 gigs version and 4 gigs version. Yes, they're coming with a 4 gigs version like they have promised us earlier in their teaser, teaser video. So yes, they are coming with a 4 GB version, but the 3 GB version is directly competing with the Redmi Note 3. Uh, 3GB version which is from Xiaomi. So let's get straight into the specifications. Well, first of all, I will be coming to the battery. Well, uh, this phone runs on a 3500 milliampere battery and which is uh, which was which is same with the Chinese version but Lenovo has uh, said that they have made the phone even more slimmer than the Chinese edition. So yes, a uh, little bit of a style statement in the Indian version maybe for Lenovo users. I don't know but I don't have a Chinese version and so I can't compare them, but as they have said, we have to trust. We have to have some uh, some kind of trust in them. So right now, come I'm coming with the uh, processor. Well, the processor is a MediaTek Helio P10 chipset, and that has having a Mali T6 uh, T860 MP2 GPU, which is according to me is very powerful, and the processor is clocked at 1.8 gigahertz. In case of the uh, K4 Note, well, the K4 Note had a 1.3 gigahertz MediaTek. Uh, Six, uh, sorry, the MediaTek 6753 CPU and had a Mali T720 MP3 GPU and the, uh, and the processor was clocked at 1.3 GHz. This is definitely, according to me, the most uh, giant leap from the K4 Note to K5 Note because I personally think the processor is immensely more powerful than, the, than it was in the K4 Note, which according to me, but the only one thing I am a little bit... Um, you know, a doubt is that I don't know about the heating. So I've decided to buy the phone and I will be talking about that phone to buy the phone and how the phone will be coming in Flipkart. So just stay with me. So right now I will be coming to the RAM. Well, as, as I told you earlier that there will be two variants, uh, 3 GB of RAM and 4 GB of RAM. Although I'm not sure about the internal storages, but according to me and, and after watching their pricings, I personally believe that the 3 GB version will be having a 16 gigs of internal storage and the 4 GB will be having a 32 gigs of internal storage. But uh, Lenovo can do a wonder right here by providing 32 gigs of internal storage on both the devices. And at that very moment, I will be the one opting the 3 gigs of variant because personally for me, uh, as I've reviewed some of the Lenovo's devices, I personally love their UI. Their UI is less RAM consuming and the RAM uh, management is also great. So in case of the UI, well, they have also taken a new leap here and I personally believe it will be a very good one as they are upgrading their UI and they're giving us a more cleaner UI. Uh, as they have said, it's next to or completely near to the stock UI, which is they are calling the pure UI. They are actually shifting their UI from 5 UI to pure UI. And I will be doing the review of the pure UI once I get the phone in my hand. And uh, so you have to subscribe to my channel for that as long as soon as I upload the video. So this is all. And in case of the camera, uh, the 13 megapixel rear camera and 8 megapixel front camera are there in the K5 Note. And in case of the K4 Note, there was most probably 5 megapixel of camera if I'm not so much wrong. And there are also Dolby Atmos speakers and uh, like always it happens with uh, Lenovo and our fingerprint scanner is also there on the back. And it looks quite great. The display is around 72.5% ratio with the display to body. So which is around, again a great thing for me. And now comes with the uh, pricing and also coming with the how they are gonna sell it. Well, first of all, uh, the pricings are as follows. Uh, they are going to sell the 3 gigs variant at a price tag of 12,000 and the 4 gigs variant at a price tag of 13,500 which I think is extremely 
extremely competitive at this uh, market which i think is great for lenovo well the 12000 uh, lenovo uh, the k5 note will be directly competing with the redmi note 3 and uh, fortunately we have a redmi note 3 of 3 gigs variant so definitely i will be doing a uh, comparison video between the two once i get the phone and how they're gonna sell it well they are saying it's an open sale and it will start from in flipkart from the 11 59 pm of uh, 3rd august and they are also providing us some bundle offers and i will be telling you that the bundle offers are quite uh, new to me because uh, they are providing us some good products at a good price well first of all they are giving us theater max bluetooth controller and a and vr headset bundle at 999 and they are also providing us a amcad gamepad 2 with an vr headset bundle and vr headset bundle at 1999 so if i was if i were you i would be going for the gamepad 2 because i really am in love with that device so this is all i think and mind it that this bundle offer will be valid from 11:59 of 3rd august to 11:59 pm of 4th august so around 24 hours window so and they are also they are calling it an open sale but uh, trust me this won't be an open sale it will be a flash sale because people will be there to buy the phone and yes the phones are according to the specifications are great now it's time i have to buy the phone first then i have to get in my hands and then i'll be telling you uh, does this phone worth its every penny or not so please stay with my channel and i hope you enjoyed the video give us a like if you think uh, is the video worth it if you give a dislike if you don't like the video share with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe again and guys there are some links in uh, the description for flipkart and amazon uh, make sure you bookmark them whenever you're buying anything from amazon or flipkart do use those links do bookmark them and that will give a little bit of kick kickback whenever you're buying from them so thanks for watching this video guys i hope you have a great day till then bye and i hope to see my next video bye bye now